The Abishu Cross Sport is a brand new mid-size crossover mod for BeamNG. It's just been released for free and there's dozens of configs to check out. And what a car this is. I do actually think it looks quite good. I'm not usually a fan of these kinds of vehicles, but it looks quite interesting. Very high ride height and quite interesting design. It's based on the 2006 Mazda CX-7. That's a mid-size crossover SUV. So it's somewhere between a normal car and an SUV. On the interior, it's very typical mid 2000s style look at this interior we've got leather seats all round and then a massive dashboard that goes right up all the way to the glass I can't even see the hood from here I've got to raise my head up really high to see it we do have some cool features on the interior like these dome lights which you can turn on and off there's even one in the back interactive interior with the hazard lights we've also got an ESC button what's this here oh that's the ignition switch and we can open the hood so this one's powered by a two liter straight four looks pretty good and of course all the other doors doors are openable. This is the base model. We've got an automatic gearbox and what is it like to drive? I'm not expecting anything like a sports car, but whoa, there's quite a bit of body roll. A suspect is fleeing from you. What? The game must think I'm a cop, but a Bishu Cross Sport. Oh, good brakes. It revs really high up to 7,000 RPM. Now this is a Mazda. They do usually have quite high revving. Whoa, engines. <laughs> that body roll is crazy. We've got a clock up here. It's just gone to 6.42. That does show my real world time. And the gearbox seems to be quite eager to change down to help me cruise along. We can turn off the ESC. It's front wheel drive. Whoa, bit of bit of wheel spin. Oh, from the outside, you can really appreciate just how floaty this thing is. It's quite a, a heavy car with a high ride height. I mean, look how much you can see the shocks under there. But whoa, it does actually drive pretty well. OK, let's go for a crash test. I don't know what we're going to crash into. Maybe this building here. OK, slow motion. Whoa, hubcap came off. Oh, wow. Now that is a pretty good JB. Yeah, I'm liking it. Look at the lights that's fallen off there. Yeah, pretty good. This mod has no less than 57 configs, including two prototypes. Let's check some of them out. The mod comes with both left-hand drive and right-hand drive configurations. This is one from Japan. It's got a 1.5 litre engine and it's been turned into a van. So what's the trunk space like? Pretty good. Seats have been removed. You've got these side panels to make it into some kind of SUV van. The Japanese model also also gets a big infotainment screen with a sat nav. So what's this thing like to drive? Well, this one has a manual gearbox and I do think it suits this car pretty well. The 1.5 litre is also very free revving. In fact, I don't think it's that much slower than the two litre. I've just noticed we've got a very nice looking digital readout for the gear. Oh, get the gear selector. That's quite nice. Sorry. Yeah, you should always look where you're going, but this mod does have the dynamic mirrors, which means we can see our own vehicle in the reflections. There's also a diesel engine engine in this mod, a 2.2 litre straight four. I'm loving this blue, or is it green? I'm not sure. This one's got a turbocharger, which makes it actually really quite fast. This is the fastest we've driven so far. And, ooh, okay, it handles well. I mean, it's called the Cross Sport. So you'd expect good handling for an SUV. And this thing is better than average for SUVs. Really push it through this corner. Ooh, Oh, okay, lot of understeer, but that was to be expected. We really don't have many crossovers in BeamNG, and I think this is a brilliant benchmark for the future. Oh, but look at that wheel spin. Okay, let's do a high-speed head-on crash test into a 200BX. Here we go. Whoa, we actually rode up the top of him. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Rolling over. Oh, yeah, pretty epic. You can have more powerful petrol engines like the 2.3 straight four and the 2.5 litre straight four. In fact, this is the Tour all-wheel drive, and it's the 2009 nine facelift you can see we've got a slightly different front grille the higher trim levels like the tour get this nice white lever i really like that and here we go 2.5 liter engine automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive what's it like to drive well whoa less wheel spin i've got to say it's hard to describe though it does feel heavier again quite a bit of body roll but the car does whoa what are you doing the car does feel quite sure through the corners you don't ever feel like you're losing control let's go on the mountain road handbrake turn not the best handbrake in the world. Here we go. Come on. All-wheel drive is working well. Pretty much all the engines in this mod rev really high, and I love high revving engines. They're not Wankel rotary. They're not Mazda rotary engines. They're just normal straight fours. Oh, a lot of understeer. Oh, jeez. If to be expected, all that weight up front. My verdict is it's not a sports car, but it is fun to drive. Let's take it slightly off-road. Here we go. Big jump. Whoa. Okay, that's a disaster. And we've rolled it. Yep. Yeah. 
We're toast. Big shout out to this mod's creator, BeamNG Boy. I've left a link for you to download this in the description. By the way, they also made the Autron CVP, another epic mod on the repo. Now, this is the Grand V6, the top of the line model. We've got a 2.7 litre V6, which looks Pretty nice, quite snug in the engine bay there. On the interior this time, we've got the satellite navigation. We've got beige seats, very nice. And we even have a button for the trunk. So let's press that and then, yep, the trunk did actually open. Pretty nice feature. This one does have all wheel drive and it's a North American model with a manual gearbox. So let's test its agility in the steel factory. Now, we can do a few slaloms, things like that. Whoa, lots of understeer. Ooh, but 2.7 litre V6. Yeah, it's got a good pickup. Here we go, another handbrake turn around here. Oh, that handbrake, come on. Go, go, go. Yeah, I like it. Again, revving up to 7,000. Pretty much all the engines in this mod rev up to 7,000, apart from the diesel. I've just noticed something really cool. The rear number plate is actually lit up with these two little LEDs. I've not seen that in any BeamNG mod. I might be wrong, but that's a first for me. This mod does actually support Jorge Pinto's Euro license plate. So let's put a French modern plate design on it. Oh yeah, look at that, really nice. It also supports the cargo boxes from the career mode and Agent Wise universal dummy mod. Look at that. We're gonna have some fun with this. Okay, wrong way down the motorway. Let's see what happens. And they've not got seatbelts on so they can be flung around the car. Whoa, that was nearly a crash. Okay, let's go head on at about 80. Here we go. Ooh, that was bad. But it's great to see mods that support the dummies. The mod has a variety of service vehicles, including a taxi, a couple of police cars, a pace car, and this awesome GTZ police car. It's got a turbocharged V6 and all wheel drive. Let's see how fast it is. On the interior, we've got all our police gear and we've got a manual gearbox. Nice. Let's test the power. Here we go. Whoa. Yep, it's pretty quick. By the way, can you believe that all the content in this mod fits into a 20 megabyte download size? That's incredible to me. Let's turn the siren on. Oh, that, that sounds custom. That sounds like a UK police siren. Oh, this thing has good brakes. What's the handling like? Slightly better. I think we've got chunkier tyres on this thing. Top speed test on the highway. You can get a non-police version of the 2.7 litre GTZ. Now at the top end, it's fair to say it's not the fastest car in the world. We are doing 120 though. Whoa, that's pretty bright. Six gears, but we don't really have to use them. Fifth gear and sixth gear just feel like overdrive. Can we even accelerate in sixth? That's full throttle. No, nope, we're losing speed. Into fifth, come on. Okay, crash into the excavator, slow motion. Whoa. I, I'm impressed with the J-beam. Look at that, the way the roof has crumpled and the back has stayed pretty oh, solid spinning and come to a stop. Yeah. Here are three of the wackier configs. We've got the MPC, which looks kind of like a derby car. We've got the Stanced, which is really, really slammed on its suspension there. And then we've got this, which is just called the Decent. And as you can see, it's definitely not decent. A lot of smoke coming out of there. It's basically a clapped out second hand model. But let's try the Stanced. See how much those tires have ruined the handling. Well, I think we've got a lot of power in this one. It's a straight four by the sounds of it. And whoa, I mean the, oh, it's very, it's incredibly bouncy. Can it handle? Here we go. Oh, understeer. I mean, there's no body roll at all, but it's pretty fast. We've also got quad exhaust. Look at that. Whoa, mind out. Okay, don't hit the curb because we're going to flip over. Whoa. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. At the start, I said there were some prototype configs, and here they are. The 2005 prototype and the experimental hydrogen prototype. The 2005 prototype is basically just a design concept. It looks pretty similar to the final car. And this is the hydrogen concept. So it's not a traditional hydrogen fuel cell car. This actually replaces the petrol in the engine with hydrogen, liquid hydrogen. So under the bonnet, it's just a normal internal combustion engine with some modifications to allow liquid hydrogen as fuel. Automatic gearbox, we've got interesting hydrogen branding all around and well, it's slightly less powerful than the equivalent two litre straight four powered by petrol, but it does work. This kind of technology has never really caught on. I mean, hydrogen fuel cell where I think compressed hydrogen gas is used to power batteries like an electric car, that hasn't even caught on. This has caught on even less, even though Mazda in real life made an RX-8 powered in this way. Now, isn't the hydrogen really explosive? So what happens if I revert at full speed into here? 
N no, nothing. Okay, so the tank doesn't just explode. And this is the Rally Config. It's based on a real Mazda CX-7 that was used in rallies about 2010, sometime like that. Look at that massive, whoa, look at that massive exhaust. Okay, let's take this thing around the racetrack. I think have we got a, no, it's just a normal manual. Okay, this thing is really powerful. We've got a lot of torque steer here. Oh, wow, this is fast. What's it like to go round corners? Okay, lack of anti-lock brakes. Lot of understeer, can we power out of it? Yep. All-wheel drive, turbocharged, 2.3 litre straight four. Of course, this thing does have a roll cage. Can we drift it? Come on, come on, drift. It doesn't, uh, what is, it doesn't really want to drift, I don't think. Okay, onto this long straight. Let's see what this thing can do. There's 80, oh, 85, 90. Look how much the front is raising off the ground as we accelerate. No, I think it's capping out about the same sort of speed, only about 120. But, you know, it's an SUV. We don't expect too high a top speed. Okay, crash into here, slow motion. Whoa, roll cage definitely doing its job. The car is pretty much the same shape. On the dirt, it's really good. You can kind of drift the car around slightly. It just feels perfect. Well, it is a rally car after all. How does it take the jumps? Oh, induction system damaged, but it definitely dealt with those pretty well. Quite a soft suspension on this thing. Whoa, that's too big a jump. No, actually. Pretty good, soft suspension, perfect for rallying. So the Abishu Crossport, clearly a labor of love by BeamNG Boy, an epic new BeamNG mod that I highly recommend. Go and check it out from the link in the description. If you'd like to see another SUV mod for BeamNG, click the video on screen right now where I test drive a Chevy Tahoe mod. Thanks for watching, that's all from me, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.